out in the middle of the Irish Sea, a modern British ship is, for the first time, returning to the days of sail. Not in the traditional sense, this 20-metre retractable rigid sail is more like an aircraft wing than billowing canvas, but the principle is the same. A sail, explains its developer, can harness a free source of power, reduce fuel costs and carbon emissions for an industry under pressure. Emissions are still rising from shipping even in the face of a climate emergency. Wind is a good, no regret solution. You can add wind to fuel-powered ships, whatever the flavour fuels. In theory, you can move things through water with wind. We've done it for thousands of years, so we can do that. How do we do it in a modern fleet? Fast rig, designed to be retrofitted to existing ships, has been tested in the lab to ensure that it works. But the only way to prove it is a sea trial of a single sail on a working vessel. This is the first trial of this technology in the UK to see if it works out on the open ocean. But the vessel taking part is no ordinary ship. This is one of the UK's fleet of nuclear transport vessels, specifically designed to carry high-level nuclear waste and spent nuclear fuel around the globe. Below the Pacific Grebe's deck are four secure holds shielded against radiation to protect the crew and the environment. The ship itself has a double hull, two engines and a suite of security systems. Its main role is nuclear decommissioning, returning material from the UK to its country of origin, Japan. We've got highly safe and highly secure operations, so if you can make a sail work in our environment, then I'm sure that's able to be translatable to right across the maritime industry. So a general voyage from Europe to Japan might be around 10,000 miles. So and we do that without refueling. So efficiency, even a small improvement in efficiency yeah. on a journey like that, yeah. could translate into a lot of uh, saving. Absolutely. You know, if, if you can save 10% on, on, on a fuel voyage, that's really good for our customers, but it's also really good. We're a UK government-owned company, so it's better value for the UK taxpayer. Despite hosting the trial, the UK's nuclear transport ships are unlikely to be the first to switch to sails. But with global shipping squeezed by fuel costs and growing carbon emissions, if this proves a success, more ships fitted with multiple rigs like this could be on the horizon. Tom Clark, Sky News, Cumbria.